<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. 7 a.m. Day five of the 12 U's of Christmas. Got my strong coffee happening. I don't drink coffee. Ooh, such a bummer. Honey. I need a I need a coffee drink. Something to help wake, <laughs> wake me up in the morning. <laughs> All right, who's out there? 7 a.m. You guys, this has been really, really sweet to spend these five days with you. I mean, I know yes. we're not quite finished. We're just starting the fifth, but it's been super sweet. So yeah. all you. Josh yeah. Hesse, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Tara. Tara, good morning. Eileen, good morning. Tell Buddy we said Eileen. hey. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hi, Kelly Kelly. Good to see ya. Yay. All right, give us some thumbs, some hearts, some let Santa us know you're here. Santa Boshi, that shame. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Dr. Rob. Uh, so many good old people. Sweet. Jean Davey from New Zealand. We oh, love you. God so bless you. Sweet. Linda Flesh Hour. Linda. Good morning. Good morning. All righty. Well, we're getting ready, as we said before people logged on. This is our fifth and final day. It's been yeah, a totally exactly. sweet, 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 good time. Yeah. Together, and I pray that it's been enjoyable for you to see everything that was communicated to Mary, Joseph, and now the shepherds mm -hmm. is their promises to us. Yeah. So the 12 U's of Christmas mm -hmm. are the 12 U's mm -hmm. for you. And so just super important stuff. I want you to make that connection. You know, we say and can be easily misunderstood that Christmas is for you or about you yeah. and ultimately we know it's about the birth of Jesus but it's about the birth of Jesus for what he would bring for you yeah. and what he would do for you and for for me yeah. for Sarah and it's really important to to personalize these things so uh, let's get together uh, right now and gather together for prayer and so here we go I'm gonna lead us in prayer this morning Heavenly Father we thank you for your generosity mm. Lord, your extravagant mm -hmm. benevolence, where you are such a giving God out of your love for us mm -hmm. that you provide so much for us. Now this morning, Lord, as we dive into your word and we make observation mm -hmm. of the yous that are available to us, God, may you burn them into our hearts yes. and may they make a profound difference in how we live, not just today, but even for the rest of our lives. Yes. Holy Spirit, come and be our teacher and our guide. Lead us into all truth, we pray. Mm -hmm. In the wonderful name of Jesus, the strong Son of God, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, so we're picking up talking about the shepherds. And um, today is going to be uh, points 10, 11, and 12, the last three. And in Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 12, which we read yesterday, for time's sake, we won't reread re it. But um, the angel said to the shepherds, this will be a sign mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. A sign to you. Now, friends, listen to me. God in his goodness mm -hmm. provides us signs, miracles, wonders. Why, why is a sign and a wonder go together? Because it makes you wonder. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you scratch your head. It's like, oh my gosh, this? Yeah. Really, this is how this works? But God in his goodness provides signs for us to do what? To confirm mm -hmm. that we're heading in the right direction, that we're doing his will, that we're obeying what he's asked us to do, that we're cooperating mm -hmm. in his plan. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, friends. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ and every follower of Jesus, we are to be people who don't follow after signs, but the scripture says, and these signs shall follow you. Mm. We're to be a miraculous people, a supernatural people, a people of signs and wonders and, and extraordinary occurrences in our life where you can only go, that, that's just God. Yeah. Only God could do that. Yeah. And so when the angels say to the shepherds, you're going to have a sign to confirm to you mm -hmm. all this that we're talking about, about the birth of the Son of God. These signs are for us. And don't, don't, please don't ever believe that the signs and the wonders and the miracles cease yeah. after the last apostle died. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't believe that. Yeah. 
What a, what a boring kind of Christianity that so many people ascribe to you. And so we don't want you to believe that at all. Mark chapter 16, verse 20, the end of Mark's gospel. Listen to what the scripture says. And they went out, speaking of the disciples, and they preached everywhere. And the Lord was working with them. And what was he doing? Confirming. He was confirming the word mm -hmm. through what? The accompanying signs. Mm -hmm. Meaning, they went out in obedience to what God had called them to do. Mm -hmm. And God confirmed that they were on the right track mm -hmm. by providing signs, wonders, and miracles mm -hmm. in and for and through them. Yeah. Dude. Our God is a supernatural God. Yeah. Let's make sure that in our hearts and minds that our God isn't too small. Can I get an amen from somebody out there? Amen. Don't, don't let your God become too small. Mm -hmm. Back to Joseph for just a minute. In, in the whole Christmas story, think about this. Did, did you ever count? Joseph had five different supernatural dreams. Mm. Five. Yeah. Those are signs. Mm -hmm. Five different supernatural dreams where he's receiving instruction, where he's being told what to do. Yeah. That's not commonplace. That's not that's just not normal. That's not just something natural. This is the Holy Spirit speaking through the sign of a supernatural dream yeah. that's going to give him instruction. Mm -hmm. The baby Jesus is born. Think about this sign. Mm -hmm. There they are in a manger. And what happens next? Dudes show up from the far east. Mm -hmm. And what do they do? They say, hey, we're here looking for the king of the Jews. And they have with them what? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And you know Mary and Joseph are sitting there going, what in the world is this? Yeah. What kind of sign and wonder and miracle? Now, here's the deal. These bros had to travel nearly a thousand miles. The sign, listen to me, the sign was on its way before the announcement was even given that they were going to give birth to the Son of God. Mm -hmm. There is no telling what miraculous sign, wonder, or miracle God has already loosed toward your situation that you don't even know it's on the way. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, there's something on the way. There's something on the way. Hey, I, I, I always want to note these things, but signs, wonders, miracles. You guys, a sign, um, I think, is providence. Sure. You know, it's God setting something up. Like, you know, running into somebody yesterday who confirmed something the Lord had been speaking to me just the day before. I mean, she had no idea, mm -hmm. but it was a sign. It, I wouldn't qualify it as a miracle, apart from a miraculous supernatural God setting it up, right? So things qual are qualified in different categories, but they're still sovereign. Um, another thing I want to note is, you know, I've been pondering this, but, you know, all of God's promises are yes and amen. Really, everything God says um, is, is a promise because he cannot lie. So everything he says is sure. And it just was this like, whoa, Lord, we are to mirror Christ. We are the body of Christ here to, to really be careful and circumspect about everything that proceeds from our mouth because we want our words to be that sure also right yeah anyhow just side note but i've been thinking about it and i thought maybe you would too yeah so be a person who believes and receives and recognizes signs yeah. and remember there's something on the way yeah mm -hmm. number 11 he then says that this will be a sign to you and then i love this he says and you will find. Yeah. You will find the babe in the late manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. Mm -hmm. But you will find. It's mm -hmm. a promise. Mm -hmm. Gets back to what Sarah was just saying. You will 
fine. Mm -hmm. How awesome is that? There's, he, he tells the shepherds there's going to be a fulfillment mm -hmm. of those things that God promised. Again, not that they made up in their own right. desires, but that God yes. promised them. Yeah. A pa famous passage of scripture. Sarah, would you read this? Matthew 7, 7 and 8. What did, these are the words of Jesus. Listen to this. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For whoever asks receives and whoever seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Our God is a God who does signs and makes provision for us to find. Mm -hmm. Okay? But there's got to be that seeking. There's got to be that asking. There's got to be that looking. Listen, if the shepherds never left the field, mm -hmm. the field of promise, they never would have been in the manger of fulfillment. There had to be a journey. They had to seek. Mm -hmm. And when they sought, yeah. what happened? Yeah. They found. Mm -hmm. And so don't just stay in the field of promise. Move to the manger of fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Move to your particular Bethlehem. Move to that place where you're going to find what God had promised for you. Yeah. Back to what Sarah said. Listen, the promise of God, what he promises you, you're going to find it. Jesus promised this. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on that. Yeah. You're going to find it. Number 12, moving right along. Here's our last one. Are you ready? This goes back to Matthew chapter uh, uh, 2, verse 13. And it says, again, getting back to the sign thing, check this out. You're going to hear the word as you journey, as you seek, as you're trying to find, mm -hmm. as there's confirming signs and wonders. God is going to continue to direct you. Mm -hmm. And he's going to direct you by his voice. He's going to direct you by his word. Don't you ever forget this. Be expectant of this. Listen for this. Check this out. Matthew 2, 13. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Yep. So do you see what's happening here? Mm -hmm. The angel speaks to Joseph in a dream and gives him a word. Mm -hmm tells him what to do, tells him where to go, tells him why to go there. Mm -hmm. And then he says, you wait there mm -hmm. until I bring you word again. Yeah. I'm going to guide, lead, and direct you by the word, mm -hmm. by the promise, by the written word, by the word that he speaks to you. Our God is a God who speaks. Don't let anybody ever, ever, ever tell you that God doesn't speak to people. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And I've always loved what Larry Lee said all those decades ago. Aww. And Larry Lee said, if you don't hear God's voice, it's because you're not a sheep. Yeah. Because Jesus promised, my sheep will hear my voice. Yeah. And so I love that the angel in a dream is speaking a word. And he says, get ready because I'm going to give you another word mm -hmm. and tell you what to do later. Mm -hmm. John chapter 16, verses 13 and 14. Listen to what Jesus says about the speaking, the guiding, leading, and directing of the Holy Spirit. Check this out. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Do you see that? Over and over and over again, Jesus is saying that the Holy Spirit is going to speak that he's going to guide, that he's going to tell you things to come, that he's going to declare to us the things of God, the, the truth of God, God's character, his word, his will, and his way, what God wants to do in and through our lives. He's a speaking God. Mm -hmm. 
He's a communicating God. He's a relational God. He's wanting to do this in our life. He said, you will hear the word. I'm going to bring you the word. And so, friends, as miraculous as that sounds, as supernatural as that sounds, that's a sign. Yeah. And it's another sign that he, it. that he promised. Mm -hmm. And it's something that helps us find mm -hmm. the very thing that he promised. Yeah. These all work together. Mm -hmm. Beloved, these things are for us. Let's not squander the riches of Christ that became available to us when he was born. Because every one of these 12 things that we looked at, we've made the point in the application and backed it up by other scriptures. These are not just available to Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds. Every one of these things are promised to us as well. Yeah. The 12 U's of Christmas include you. Make no mistake about it. All right. That's it. Yeah. Here we go. Let me read these over you. The Lord is with you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and maybe just even close your eyes. Extend your hands. Just receive this however you're comfortable doing it. The Lord is with you. You are blessed. You are highly favored. You're going to conceive things. You're going to be seized by the purposes of God. There's going to be the power of the Holy Spirit to overshadow you and to perform it. It might be risky, but don't be afraid. Mm. Call those things that have been promised that aren't yet as though they are. Believe, the scripture says, and therefore speak. You've been good, given good tidings of great joy. This Jesus thing should be joyful, in your heart. Yeah. You've been given a savior to forgive you of your sins and remove them as far as the east is from the west, never to be remembered again. Mm -hmm. You've been given a Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one, whose very own anointing breaks the yoke of bondages and delivers us from satanic snares and traps. He's Lord. Master, mm -hmm. creator of the universe, and he's yours. There will be signs that this great God gives you. You will find when you seek, and he will speak his word. You're going to hear it. You're going to be led by it, mm -hmm. and you will see a fulfillment of those things mm -hmm. that God has promised. Beloved, is that good news? Is that good news? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray quickly, but I mean genuinely, may these things be burned, solidified into my heart, into Sarah's heart, into my friends' hearts that are watching this. Lord, may we not lose sight of any of these things. And now, God, as we prepare our hearts to partake of the bread and the cup, we remember that all these, all these things are possible to us only through the broken body and the shed blood of Jesus. If he was only born and didn't die and resurrect, we would have no hope. But because Jesus was born because he died and because he rose again. We don't just have hope. We have fact that every single thing that God's promised us in Christ is ours. Bless the bread and the cup. May it be health, strength, and life to us. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen, amen, and amen. Let's partake of communion together this morning, beloved.
beloved, it's been great being with you this past week, digging into the word. We want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. We bless you. We pray that 2022 is, is infinitely better for you yes. than 2021 was. We hope to see you soon. Our next ASI event is January 10th at the factory in Franklin. We're expecting a packed house again. Register. Go to steveberger.org. That's where you can get the notes from this whole series as well. But we love you. We bless you. We thank you for who you are in Christ and what you mean to us. You're a lovely people, yeah. and we bless you in Jesus' name. One more time, Merry, Merry, Merry 